Gotta get back to the train. This. Just watch your step. No tripping allowed. We gotta run to the train. Let's see, don't wanna miss the train. We're a little late. A little late, here we go. Just watch your step down these stairs. Be careful, Tiny. Good morning, good morning from Williams, Arizona, just outside of Flagstaff. So today we're very excited. Even though the weather's a little bit on the gloomy side, we are going to explore the Grand Canyon. We have to run because we're at the RV park here and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later, but we have to catch one of the coolest trains you're ever gonna see heading up towards the Grand Canyon. All right, enough time wasted, let's go. Woo, it's gonna be a long brisk walk to this so, train. So this is the first kind of snow of the season. It's actually snowing a little bit here. You probably, I'm not sure if you can see it through the uh, video, but it's snowing a little bit and it's chilly. It's chilly. Yeah. And we still have quite a bit of walk. We have to kind of walk all the way over right. there just to catch the train. Exactly. And there's supposed to be a pre-show, right? There is a little, uh, well, this won't give it away. No, we won't just give it away. Stay tuned for a pre-show. Stay tuned for the pre-show if we make it. Here we go. Made the show. Exactly. I'm no fine. train for us. We got to uh, ride horseback. We do. No train today. It's all horseback today. It's all horseback. Okay, so we made it and we have a little bit of time. So we are staying at the RV park here at the Grand Canyon Railway and Hotel. And it's pretty convenient for us to catch this train, even though it's a little bit of a walk. But it's a decent RV park, full hookups. And it has, uh, it's more of a concrete jungle style feel, but it has a a really kind of great vibe and it's close to the brewery. Hello. Hi. Hello, honey. Hi. Oh, okay. You gotta test me out. You think he's hiding the camera? Oh, Her name is Magpie. Hi, Magpie. Hi, Magpie. You are beautiful. Probably smell my kitties on me. <laughs> How are you? Look at those eyes. You are so beautiful. How are you? Now, could you just say a few words for me? Just say a few words yeah. for me. Maybe a little teeth. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm Dutch, and I'm originally from the Netherlands. And I've been working here with the show for uh, seven years. And, uh, well, I've been here in this area since 61. We get snow, ice, cold temperatures. I've been here minus 35. And uh, I've done the show here at uh, minus 17 degrees, all bundled up, of wow. course. Some of my vests are medium, and some of them are uh, uh, extra, extra large. Extra, oh, wow. Of course, I can bundle up then. Well, now. Chief. Where's Chief? Right here. It's the first one. Yeah. Well, it's the first but the last one. All right. Orden. All right. So this is the one we're on now? Yeah, we are. Wow. And then the so Chief. Apparently, this is the nicest one on the train. Yeah, it's supposed to be a kind of that classic kind of old Pullman train, I believe. Yeah, well, I hope it's a lot warmer in there than it is out here because right, it's kind of cold out here. So I am going to be opening up the buffet as soon as I get inside, but in the middle of the car, there are drinks available to you immediately. Help yourself. Great, thank you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you. All right. We'll be right here. Me too. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, so there's beverages available to us immediately. And there's a buffet that's going to be opening up shortly, so it's perfect because we didn't have breakfast. We've been rushing around all I morning. I'm hungry. So I'm hungry. Perfect. High five. Ooh, my hands are freezing. Your hands are super freezing. My jet's like high five. Yeah. <laughs> all right. i 
So the journey has begun, as you can see, probably behind me. I'm looking a little silhouette -y. But we're on the train, you guys. This is amazing. So they're about to serve cocktails on the inside. There's a buffet that we're about to dive into. You can see the breath. You see my breath. So that is definitely a uh, cold weather alert. <laughs> Get ready to make your wish and hold your breath. <gasps> Maybe it's the perfect time to go get a Bloody Mary. Alright, sounds good, babe. Yeah, let's go get a Bloody Mary. Oh, and here she is. Mm -hmm. Alright. No, Not excellent. only is she like the best storyteller, but she makes the best spicy. Well, I, think, I think you heard Bloody spicy Mary. Bloody Mary and you just... Uh... She had me at spicy. Now <laughs> <laughs> we're all going to want to say a prayer. Mm. <laughs> okay, hold your eyes. Let's get up. These have been jostled on the train by A1. <laughs> Oh, it's more like a tizzle. <laughs> oh, look at you found it. Chocolate donut. A chocolate donut. That's part of the uh, snack. That's right, a little, little snack bar. You found it too. There's a bunch of good stuff back there. Mm -hmm. Never tried some of that. And check out the different cars here on the train. Now we're in the chief. We're in the chief car. So, in 1869, there was a man by the name of John so Wesley through. Powell, very, very famous explorer, very highly credible and highly esteemed. So much so that they even named a lake after him. Hey, hello, Powell, how are you? It's a very big lake. So head through. Go to the next car. We almost did this one. We almost did this one. This is very cool though. Yeah, hello. Look at all the snow. That's weird. Yeah, outside's one thing. Yeah, this is nice. Hello. <laughs> Next to, okay, I know I missed something. So next to the Bright Angel, it's going to be the Bright Angel Trail. I know. We did. They're all up above. They're all above. Yeah, this is beautiful down here. And they have a scenic uh, car above. So this is actually really nice. Really nice. So, got your cocktail. Right. right, and so while the you have the buffet kind of breakfast, which is complimentary, and also the non-alcoholic drinks are complimentary, but these are not, they're only about eight bucks though. Not, not, not terrible. Yeah, look at the size right. of the glass. Right, yeah. And uh, made with a lot of care. A lot of care and love. It's right. like personalized just for you. Yeah, very nice. Right? Very, very beautiful. It's a beautiful drink. And you know great. I had to go for it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, David. Bloody Mary. Spicy Bloody Mary. Mmm, that's refreshing. is always yet to come I tell
So apparently there's a famous boulderer about to pass that was struck by lightning. I believe they call it Star Boulder or something like that. It's supposed to be really beautiful, so hopefully we will spot it and we'll be able to share it with you. Hey, what, what's that stone called? Um, Stonehenge. Got it. Stonehenge. Star, we're, Star Rock. We're coming up to Star Rock. Star Rock. Star Rock. Anyway, I told you. Here we go. Where is it? So, the oh, there's the old, the old house. Yeah, it should be up here somewhere. Some of this. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the house. The there's a building out there. She sits on the building. Okay, we might finally be here. What do you think? Mile 60. Well, we've been trying to see Lightning Rock or Star Rock, but uh, no luck so far. I think actually we may have been biased, so sorry about that. Look, real snow! I know, we got snow fight. Snowball fight! Snowball fight! Snowball fight. We can have the snowball Hi. fight! So we're in Wanda, but has lunch, I guess the bus tour, whatever it's called. Okay, okay. Grant. Yay! Okay. Thank you. We're, we're headed, to heading to Grant. Alright, so after the train, we jumped on the Grant tour, bus tour. First stop is lunch. lunch. And we are hungry, so definitely excited for that. Some fajitas, apparently. Chicken fajitas. You have your choice of. Chicken, chicken or chicken. <laughs> exactly. Chicken, chicken, and fajitas. It works for us, though. So. Here's our view out the window. Or something like that. Nice view. Yeah. Well, it's going to get better. Right. So what do you think? I am pretty pleased. I think this is going to be... This is going to do just the trick. You know, it's not too much, but at the same time, it's the perfect amount before kind of heading off on this little tour adventure. Now, I did ask the, the bus driver if we're gonna stop and get off and see different things, and he said yes, so I think it looks wonderful. I'm pretty pleased with the look. Here we go. I think Dave's hungry, you guys. I saw the eyes kind of. Give it a try. Good job. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's really great. So really quick, we the day has been going by so fast and we've been having a lot of fun connecting with the staff on both the train and the bus so far. But what we haven't done is giving you a breakdown on terms of how this all works and costs. I figure the person to give you the best explanation of how this works is Dave. So take it away, Dave. Now, if you're interested in the Grand Canyon Railway, head over to the website and you'll see right away that there's actually six different classes to choose from. Now, we decided to book the most luxurious car on the way up called the Luxury Parlor. There's also a Luxury Dome as well. Both are at the same price, $113 each way. And the good thing is you can actually split it up. So the way up, we took the Luxury Parlor. Now, for the way back, we're going to take actually the most basic class called the Pullman Car which is the most basic, it's $33.50 each way. And so that luxury coach that we are on, it does come with, incorporated in that price, is the snack cart that you get, unlimited snack cart. 
as well as the soft drink and beverage, excluding alcoholic cocktails. If you want those, that's an additional fee. But you can just see the energy. Um, the coach that we we're in, she had wonderful stories to tell, and it just made the trip much more, more exciting to be able to go outside and to, because we were in that luxury coach, have the choice of going outside on the back observation desk, which was deck, which was beautiful. <laughs> the desk. <laughs> Let's try it again. Deck. <laughs> now, when you arrive at the Grand Canyon, you can actually go off on your own, but they also offer bus tours as well. And we decided to take the Grand Tour bus tour, which costs $59 per person. It also includes lunch. You can actually do the one that doesn't include lunch. I think it's called the Freedom Tour. I think it's about $43 per person. Lunch. Lunch. <laughs> All right, so we're at the first stop on the bus at Yaki Point. What do you think, babe? I think Right. Not bad view. No, none at all. You ready for a little, uh, <laughs> little cliff diving? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go ready? as far as the cliff. Yeah. Here we go. That's good. Oh, you don't have to go all the way there. Yeah. <laughs> you can turn around and say, smile for the camera. Camera. Smile away. Put on the squirrel suit and we kind of go diving in. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of head on down here. And then do a backflip off the end. It's a stop number two. Where are we at? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is called. Right here. That's the. It's pretty amazing view, though. Gotta, this is spot number two. Holy moly! Look at this. Yikes. Whoa. That's pretty far down there. I definitely am feeling a little of the. Uh, I just kind of got a little ran down some steps and. Got a little wind did, so 7,000 feet, you do feel a little bit of the altitude. Right, yeah, you definitely do. Mm, with the fresh air. What do you think, babe? I think this is an absolutely beautiful spot. Very serene. I'm kind of on the edge, which I've never actually have come this close to the edge before. This is probably as far as they will ever go, but it's just, it's a beautiful spot. It almost looks like uh, I'm connected with nature in more ways than one. Oh, these views are breathtaking while well, I'm trying to catch my breath. Literally, they are breathtaking. And there's a little plaque up here. So we have here. So this is the Kebab Trail Suspension Bridge. Whoa, that's amazing. And Dave's right to think you can actually hike down up into that mile deep. El Tovar. It looks really cool from the outside. It was built in 1903. Oh, wow. Well, completed in 1905. Started in 1903, I guess. Wow. That's amazing. Now on a cold day like this, this made a lot of sense. Oh, it did. Perfect choice. I didn't know where to find you. I'm kind of looking around where's Dave and I'm like, 
I look over and he's like, Tanya, over here, and you picked a great spot. It's nice and toasty in here. Yeah, the El Tovar Cocktail Lounge. Nothing wrong with that. Is it a cocktail lounge? That's what they said. Oh, Look okay. Look at that. What's over there? That looks like a bar. Looks like a bar to me. But they serve food. Yes. Thank God. I'm thinking about this. <laughs> Some chili that looks good. I'm gonna try some of that, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I may try some chili as well. I mean, nothing like nice hot chili on a brisk, cold day. But this place is really cute. We're easy, we're easy. We're very easy to place. Well, I'm excited for this meal because I am a bit hungry and it'll save us from cooking tonight because it's gonna exactly. be cold tonight. And look at this view. I'll tell you, babe, this is gonna be perfect. Right, beef and pork uh, chili with a little tortilla as well. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna dive right in. How about, I'm gonna put it right on here. Why, why not? I'm curious to see if it's spicy. It looks like it's got a little kick to it. Ah, uh, we'll see. Ready? That's good. Right on the tortilla. Pork. Oh, that crunch. That crunch is a great mm. start. Mmm. <laughs> good. It's yeah. not, I don't think it's spicy at all. Um, maybe it hasn't hit yet, but it's not too spicy. Nice flavor, really. That beef and pork really jumps out at you. You have some extra cheddar coming too, which is gonna be nice. So, all in all, good stuff. Perfect. Yeah. Comfort food. Comfort food. All right. So this is a fall '75. I'm gonna read it from the menu so I don't get it wrong. But it has a Christian Brothers brandy, sparkling cider, orange juice, maple syrup, champagne, and orange bitters. It looks like a little rosemary sprig on the side. Mmm. Actually, smells like fall. That's really good. The maple syrup is not strong in the cider. You taste the cider, but it's delicious. I'm gonna have to give it one of mine. It's so good, delicious. Tanya. Wow, get yeah. now. Get now. Prickly pear, boy. <laughs> I got my prickly pear, my prickly. Should I try it for you? Yeah, I think so. It's an awfully pretty one. Just give it? you the pretty example. I always get the pretty drinks. We better go. Oh yeah, let's go. You can potty on the train. We gotta move. We gotta get to the train. Time to get to the train. Okay. Time to move. <laughs> Time to move. Can't miss the train. We can't miss the train. It always turned out bad. And the TV keep on telling. Gotta get back to the train. You wanna carry that? Yeah. I can carry that. Okay. You go. Okay. Just watch your step. No tripping allowed. We gotta run to the train. Let's see, don't want to miss the train. We're a little late. A little late. Here we go. Just watch your step down these stairs. Okay. Be careful, Tanya. Right, here we go. Don't move, train. Don't go. All right. We'll be huffing and puffing. I'm already huffing. Okay. That was good. Okay, we ran. That's good. Okay, walk the rest. No in the room. I know. Look at that. And that's not blow. So that, that's not like uh, Hollywood snow where they blow it on. That's like real stuff. <clears throat> All right. More stairs. Okay, Elisa's okay. down. Elisa's down. Last set of stairs. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. They wouldn't leave us here, right? I don't think so. They wouldn't leave us here. Um. Well. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they would. They actually, would. look no, at those. They wouldn't. they wouldn't leave us. I love those double-decker dome ones. Those are so cool. Oh, those are really nice. Yeah, that's a luxury dome. Luxury dome. And they're all across. Yeah, well, you have the luxury dome, and then you have kind of the basic dome. Oh, okay. The luxury dome is pretty sweet. Ah. Right, so if you don't do the luxury parlor, you do the luxury dome. Dome. Right. If you want to go, like, full-scale luxury. True. If you want to go full-scale luxury. All right, we made it. All right. There is, okay. but not that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the Grand Canyon Visitor Center? Is that yeah. Grand Canyon Railway. 
Here we go, time for the trip home. So we have made it now, of course, as we said, on the way back here, we're on the, uh, just the basic uh, Pullman train, which is the basic one, 3350, where we did the luxury um, parlor one on the way, way up here. Hello. Good, thank you. Look just like my dad. Every time I wag my tongue, it always turns out bad. Here's the Pullman. This is our car, or at least one of them. The Pullman car. It's gonna feel like being on a New York train. No. You're gonna sing across in each other. Yeah. Except just older version. Right. Hello, sir. Hi. Heading on in. I am Craig with the railroad, and don't put this on Facebook. I got warrants. All right, that's Craig right there, everybody. I'm like kidding. <laughs> All right, coming in. Come on, Roman. Always make me circle round like a rabbit around the track. There's water in the mountain streams. So it's quite different than this morning's train yes. ride, right? So we're down all the way at the other end to experience sort of the luxury line. And now we're here at the Pullman side to kind of see what the other end of the train is like. Now we've heard if there was a 15 car uh, yeah, in the, in, the, in the peak months. Summer, peak yeah. months, it goes way down there. So you can imagine how much further we would have had to walk had we gotten here midsummer. So thank God we're not here. Midsummer. This is a, we're, we're in the party. This is a party one. Party one. Party one. All right, so we're going to give this one more try. We're going to try to find the rock that was struck by lightning with Star Rock. Supposedly it's right off here. Um, so we're on our way back now. So this is going to be round two. Yeah, I'm keeping my eye out as we're talking just so right. we don't miss it. And it's supposed to look like a rock with a starburst now. One person said it's uh, Old Wise Tale, and another person says it's, thanks Craig, another person says that it's on this side here. So right. We're gonna... And, and if you, keep your eyes out too. If you see it, uh, you let us know the, in the comments the, below. Yeah, and what time get, stamp? Time stamp it too. Okay, yeah, All right, let's the, give it a try. Search uh, is on. Son of a southern man, daughter of a free man, children of the Civil War. Blackbird on a limb, both of them diving in deeper than they've been before. And I oh, oh, down a red dirt path, covering their tracks, strangers in the light of day. Can't fight it, can't stop, and if they get caught, it's gonna be hell to pay. So baby, meet me down by the road No river where the cool dark water meets the full moonlight If we can sneak away, maybe we could be together Marker, and that way I could tell people to be looking out so you, so you, you tell our folks that we passed it? Do you think you already passed it? Yeah. Really? What you I got a bit, I got busy. We're, we're you don't even too. know where it is though, so how do you know we passed it? Uh, because uh, no. the landscape that I'm looking at now yeah. We're past the landscape where it is. The landscape where it is is mountainy so and go rocky. Back. And I'll see if he'll reverse. <laughs> Dang. So. Uh, we're, that, that's, a, that's an 0 for 2 that right there. That's an 0 for 2. Uh, that's, that's not a good batting well, average. Well, well, you know what? We, ha we have to. Yeah. I think they've always traveled well. Like, so I hear we're about to get robbed. Well, um, yeah, I have my dollars. Dollar. I'm gonna hide the dollar right here. You'll never find it. I got nothing. I got nothing. Uh oh. Are I'm looking for him. Are you I'm, looking? Looking. I'm hiding all the money right now. You're gonna hide the money. I'm hiding. Hide them. I'm hiding the hide, money. Hide it right there. Yeah, hide, hide, hide it. Pretty well hidden. Hide it up. Hide it up. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they won't get a find. Nothing. 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 Nothing.
Yes, it was. What a great way to explore the Grand Canyon. Now, the Grand Canyon Railway is definitely worth a try. Yes. It's a great family experience, too. Big time. There are okay. lots of kids yeah. just really enjoying the experience. Exactly. And a lot of fun. The conductors, staff, amazing job. Yeah, and I love the dynamic between that luxury cart and then yes. going to the Pullman, which is the basic cart. And I felt like it was still a great vibe. You know, obviously, you don't get that snacks, free snacks and unlimited in the, the Pullman cart. Right. But the energy and the conductors and the folks were all amazing. Right. I feel like there's an experience for everyone and also kind of a cost point for everyone as well. Absolutely. Now I am freezing. Yes. It's cold. I am uh, definitely feeling a little bit hungry. Just a little. But I think it's probably time to go cuddle up and watch a movie. Don't I, think? Well, I think a little popcorn and movie night. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. I think the movie started, guys. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Add the effects! Add the effects, man! Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so just had to get this. I mean, it's, it's kind of cold here right now <laughs> in Arizona, where we are by the Grand Canyon. But these two certainly know how. Look at that. They know how to snuggle it up. Look at that. Look at those little snuggle bunnies. Hi! Are you cozy? You come look at that cute. Oh my gosh, so precious. Oh, and then oh look at this. Oh look at you, Miss Precious. So cute. Oh. Both of them on the prince and princess pad. Love you guys. Ishma Mishkobi Nobi. Ishma Mishkobi. 